Hey guys, welcome back for another video. And as usual, we'll be doing another few panels from the book The Demon of Old Malaya from Chainlink Studios, written of course by Kenneth Chirail and illustrated by yours truly. And if you're um, aspiring creators, or if you're looking to get started on a project um, of original content, I wish you the best of luck. If you happen to be the artist who's also the writer, then it's going to be easier for you. But do remember to get um, a second a pair of eyes or constructive feedback from people you trust who are not going to be uh, or who are not going to go easy on you just so that it's not um, unreadable because sometimes we tend to draw the next thing we envision in our in our minds as we tell the story to ourselves and it might not read as great and if you can get some practice in um, get some practice working with a writer, friend, a stranger, someone that's online looking for a collaborative partner. And of course, um, if you're working with someone, um, especially if you have a writer who might be writing maybe an over-descriptive um, scene, you might want to communicate as to maybe the lack of freedom you feel to put in your own creative touches or if it's too loose the lack of direction or the lack of um, mood setting props so it's great if you have started something collaborative but of course be respectful and keep those lines of communication open because sometimes um, the writer can be writing in the sense that they could be playing a movie in their minds and they can fall into the trap of uh, over describing the scene or describing two actions in one panel which can be a problem but as the artist it's kind of um, your job to spot that and to call it out and if what's described is um, something that doesn't work in one panel you're allowed to break it down to two separate actions and explain it to the writer of course um, as the writer they would have the right to come back and give you feedback on certain elements that maybe would emphasize or heighten the drama of the story or help the storytelling maybe after the fact maybe they didn't think of it without the visualization but maybe just the way that you've laid it out in terms of the art would benefit from one or two touches so I think for both parties, it's best not to get too attached to your uh, work, but have the sense that you want to achieve the best result of the work. And sometimes, um, as the case is with uh, myself, you can progressively get better as a result of working through these challenges and you could arrive at or arrive at a point where you're producing a better product it might take some time and if you're open to the learning you'll be I'm very happy with the results so if you started something a while ago if it's um, still not complete if you feel that you're guilty of a bit of procrastination don't worry about it as long as you're chipping away 
as long as you're still trying to lay out or pencil or ink those panels just get to the next one and the one after that and the one after that and you'll be well on your way and if you keep at it long enough there's going to come a time where you notice that it will become more natural for you to produce the work it's going to become much easier and you'll be looking for a greater challenge in terms of what you can do on the page if your skills um, reach a point where they exceed what you started out with and it's always exciting to be at that point but if you're not pushing yourself if you're not making the mistakes or a couple of shitty pages um, maybe it doesn't do enough to jog our minds and our skills to get them to that next level so whatever state it's in no matter how you feel it's taking perhaps maybe a bit too long maybe it doesn't look that great or maybe you can't figure out how to lay out the next page Just don't worry stay calm and work through it and we'll be here doing it the same as you so like the video share it subscribe we'll be here and we hope you are too so good luck on your projects and we'll see you next time